Hello, and welcome to Alleviate Dry Eye, where you can learn to take care of your eyes like it's the only pair you'll ever have. I'm Dr. T, Pam Terrio. I'm the author of the book, Alleviate Dry Eye, and also a dry eye specialist here in Shreveport, Louisiana. Thanks for joining me today. A few weeks ago, we talked about Demodex mites in the eyelashes and how we weren't going to use tea tree oil anymore to remove those Demodex mites. And maybe I left you hanging a little bit saying, oh my God, what am I going to use now? Um, if you know that you have a Demodex mite infestation or an overgrowth of the mites that normally live on our lids and lashes and you want to get rid of them, I am no longer recommending tea tree oil as um, a treatment for that. And you can check out that blog to find out why. But there was a new research study that came out that showed tea tree oil to be toxic to the meibomian glands. Uh, the cells of the meibomian glands that live in our lids. So what are you going to do now? Everybody's dying to know. So how do you know if you have a demodex mite overgrowth in your lashes? Um, you may have red crusty lid margins, especially that inner rim there can be really red and irritated, and you may itch right at the base of your lashes. So not like an allergy eye where you want to rub the whole eye, but just really you want to itch right at the base of the lashes. That would indicate having a demodex overgrowth of the population. Okay, so two ways to treat demodex. We're going to talk about two in-office procedures and two at-home procedures. All right, so if you're at your eye doctor, they may have a way to treat the demodex. In my office, my go-to is Zest. This is an in-office treatment produced by the makers of Zocular. We do a Zocu kit and we use that Zocular solution to scrub onto the lashes themselves and do a real good cleansing there. And I usually even put the Zocular solution in the, the eyebrows. Now this would be dim different than the percentage of the concentration of the zocular that you would use over the counter, it's a bit more concentrated and it's only available in the doctor's office. And so we do this procedure, it takes probably about 10 minutes and then we rinse everything away and you are Demodex free. Now, the second in office procedure that can be done to get rid of Demodex is called IPL or intense pulse light. And that is a device that would be used on the face. It's used to treat patients who have rosacea and we use a laser or an intense light to treat the blood vessels here. And what ends up happening is that the heat from the intense light actually fries those little demodex guys and they, they die off and go away. You don't have that problem anymore. So intense pulse light, you can ask your eye doctor if they have it or if they recommend a dermatologist nearby who might also have that technology. All right, what if you have an in-office procedure and you wanna just keep it up at home? Because like I said, these demodex are normal to live on our lids and lashes. Here is um, a super duper magnified version of what those demodex look like. They, they have little mouths there and they hide inside of your lash uh, follicle and then their little tails hang out at the top. So um, of course these are microscopic. You can't see them with the naked eye. Um, Anyway, so you want to continue doing something at home. Well, we're in luck. There is a commercially available uh, solution. It's called Zocular. I know I've talked about it before. There's Zocular. It comes in a foam, a gel, and a wipe. So um, my favorite is the foam. I keep this in my shower. I use it every day. Pump a little bit of the foam onto your finger, rub your two fingers together, and then just scrub that right onto your lashes. You could even do your eyebrows because your brows have hair follicles too, and the demodex could be hiding in there. Same with the wipe, just rub the wipe over, rinse afterwards, and then the gel. It's a little bit thicker, so if you have a heavier infestation or just want to make sure you get squeaky clean, you put some gel on your finger and then rub that gel into your lashes. I love the Zocular products because they smell good and they feel good on your eyes. Unlike the tea tree oil products, which had a, a really kind of abrasive smell and they really sting and burn when you put them on your eyes. So no more tea tree oil, everybody switch into Zocular. Now, 
What if you're like, ah, I can't find Socular, I can't get Socular, it's available online, I'll have a link in the blog, but you want to do something at home, and you're like, okay, there's a way to do this. So you would use organic coconut oil, 50% and 50% Manuka honey. Mix those together, stir it up, and you'll get this nice uh, paste-like solution and then you would use a teeny teeny tiny amount to paint onto your lid and lash margins i'll have the exact recipe and formula in the blog so you can check that out Alrighty, there you have it two ways to get rid of demodex mites whether you're in the office at the, your eye doctor's office or you're at home there's a way to get rid of them good for us all right so if you want to learn how to take care of your eyes today you know your vision will last you a lifetime. Stick with me, I've got all the tips you need. Thanks again for joining me today and I'll see you next time.